Welcome to Keyframers. I'm Stephen Shaw. And I am David Korshid. Right now we're going to break down a technique used in the uh, contact form radio button transition uh, video. You can check out the full live stream uh, to see exactly how we built everything. But let's talk about this uh, cool radio button group and the hover effect. So whenever you hover over one of them, uh, you you get that that kind of stroke effect on all the others. So looking at the CSS here, uh, where are we? All right, yeah, it's actually all grouped very nicely. So our radio buttons are all wrapped in this radio group uh, setup with a label for each radio button. Uh, and whenever we hover on the radio the radio group then we're applying styles to the, the span inside the radio. Uh, so whenever this whole group is covered here, so outline pixel red, um, solid one pixel red, does that do it? There we go. Uh, so whenever we hover over this radio group, then the span inside receives this, uh, the color of the background, so this subtle gray here, and then a text shadow with a CSS variable. What in the world? Uh, if we go up to uh, <laughs> towards the top, we have uh, a bunch of variables defined on on root uh, that help us control some things. Uh, so there's this shadow size variable, and then there's this stroke shadow variable that's that's using that as well. With CSS variables, you can actually do like the full value of a CSS property. Um, so like all the properties for a background, for example, um, or in this case, a text shadow. Um, so we have multiple text shadows defined here um, that kind of just go around the, the text um, without much like uh, with uh, a zero size. So it's a, a real hard line rather than like a faded um, blurred effect you might normally see. So then we can easily apply that um, to the uh, to each of those radio spans. Where did our, that go? There we go. Yeah, so we easily apply that on hover of the radio group parent there um, to each of the spans. And then we override it uh, <coughs> on the exact radio button that we're hovering. Um, so we've got the just black color and no text shadow on those. And so that gives that cool effect whenever you hover over, showing very clearly which one of the siblings is 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 highlighted. Um, so that's a super cool effect. If you want to see more of the breakdown and, and how we how we built that out, uh, check out the full live video.